Hi there booktube, it's Emma from Emma's Bookish Lifestyle and today is a mixture of things. It's a book that I've received recently from the publishers that I requested and also I've got um, my book that I received this month from Victoria, Eve's Alexandra and my two subscription boxes. So first of all, uh, the book from the publisher. This is The Fatal... Oh, sorry, I'm throwing my books around. This is The Fatal Tree by Jake Arnott. Now, this is a naked hardback. It's published by Scepter. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got lovely M papers, and it's just very, very vintage in, in its feel. Even the papers are not white. They're kind of creamy white. Reasonable size fonts, reasonable margins. And the story behind it basically is um, of Elizabeth Lyon, who was known as Edgeworth Bess. And she had a love, lover and a partner in crime who was a notorious jailbreaker. Now, his name was Jack Shepherd, And he publicly blamed her for him being led astray, basically. Um, which was obviously a shameless and wounding lie to her. And according to her version of events, um, she dictates these um, in the book from her condemned cell at Newgate Prison, which is, is well known to a, a sort of a Grub Street um, reporter who also has his own sort of spin and tail to tell on it. So it's it sounds really interesting. It's due out on the 23rd of February. I'm hoping to get to it. Um, maybe after the night watch and before um, war, and pe war and Peace, but it just depends on, on where my, my sort of time runs out before the big War and Peace adventure. So next up, I've got my book that I got from Victoria at Eve's Alexandria this month, and this is Home Going by Yar Jassy. It's been talked about a lot on this channel, so I won't go into it in too much depth, but absolutely stunning cover, looking forward to reading it. Um, probably because I got it this month I'll probably be getting to it in April because I don't think I'll be getting to it this side of War and Peace unfortunately. Next uh, Eleanor Reads does her phenomenal book subscription box that I have been uh, purchasing ever since its inauguration and still love to pieces. I know there's been some unboxings on here um, so it won't be a surprise so I'm not actually going to unbox it as such but I love the fact that I got my notebook which is follow your dreams they know the way. I love that, I love the little notebook it's going to, to go to work with me. It's an inspiring quote and sometimes when you're kind of really busy at work you need something inspirational and a bit uplifting to get you through the day so that's going to be there and also I'm going to use it for sort of my little day-to-day -day notes handbag notebooks so the other book the book that came with it sorry the other book the book that came with it is Golden Boy now I haven't read much about it I don't want to read much about it I know it's um, in respect to a topic which is new to me um, which uh, is intersex and I'm really looking forward to reading it. Again, I'm afraid, usually I'm one of the first people to read the subscription book, this, but this time I'm kind of wrapped up to my eyeballs in a TBR pile. And because of my book slump, I haven't had a chance to get around to it. So I will be getting around to it as soon as possible. Um, usually with Ellen's books, they are quite fast paced and a good read. So uh, they're not a difficult book to fit into your day to day reading so I'll be slotting that in as soon as possible. Excuse the growling in the background, there's some neighbours doing some DIY today and uh, my dog Conan does not like it. And last but not least um, I have two books which are the two books from this month's uh, Moth Box from Mercy at Mercy's, Mercy's Bookish Musings and again I'll put all their details and everything in, in the comments down below and this month again there's been a couple of videos online with the unboxings of them uh, but this month we've got one from uh, ooh, Blue Smoke Press which I've never heard of which is good um, which is about an event that takes place um, in 1981 in the UK I absolutely adore that cover um, 
it looks like there's going to be in a it's a very much a family driven drama based around the agarwolf apologies for the pronunciation there and it's during the times of thatcher's fractured britain now i was six in 1981 but i do remember coal strikes and various other things going on in thatcherite britain so i'll be really interested to hear about that so and see how this copes with the book and last but not least we have sufficient grace by um scribe press and this is amy espeseth sorry i forgot to say this is sharon sharon dougal and this looks uh beautiful this is actually based in america so this is um based in rural wisconsin i don't really know a lot about the rural areas of america um but it sounds extremely atmospheric and it says here that it's a story of lost innocence and the unfailing bond between two young women. It's at once devastating and beautiful and ultimately transcendent. Sounds amazing. Again, the same as with Eleanor's books. Um, the books that I've had so far from Mercy and Mercy's Bookish Musings through Mothbox have been phenomenal and highly, highly recommend them. Uh, to to get these though they do fly out the window i know she's slowly increasing her book, book subscription service um in numbers however they do sell fast so i would follow her through twitter and again i'll pop that in the links down below so i hope you're all well booktube um i hope you don't mind that i've uploaded a few videos in the recent days back to back but i've tried to keep them as short and concise as i can love to hear from you love to chat with you um love to know what you're reading if you've got any recommendations to, for me based on some of the things that i am reading or have read recently also it'd be great to chat to any of you through goodreads or be friends with any of you in goodreads so i will also link my goodreads down below please feel free to friend me um i find it really interesting to see what other people read and also find that it helps um bring to the foresight um different books that i wouldn't normally look at so um yeah Give me a shout and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, Butchie. Bye for now.